Hello, I'm Seema Kohli. I'm an artist, a painter. As a very young girl, I used to draw. It was later in my years I realized that, of course, the paintings remain another passion. I started very, very young. But this was a passion which stayed on to me. I think most of the children, they do have a passion for color, the mystery of drawing, the suspense of line, and the dot creating into a, a large, large line, which suddenly molds into a form. I think that is a mystery for every child at every, every time, you know, 100 years back, 200 years back, 500 years back, and even today, we land up having the same mystery and the same awe that is in a uh, child's eye. And that awe stayed with me. And I continued painting. There were a lot of other infatuations which came into my life, but painting and drawing worn over it all. And uh, that is the reason I thought it was my mode of expression, my language, and I chose it. I actively started painting uh, by 80s, in the beginning of 80s, and uh, by the end of 90s, I, I wanted a different dimension. I wanted to push my boundaries from drawing to painting. I worked in oils, I worked in different mediums, on paper, on canvas. Now I wanted these forms, these elements which were there in my painting to move into a different dimension. And how would that happen? So I started sculpting. I used terracotta, I used ceramic. And then I moved on to bronzes by the beginning of 2000. By the time these sculptures, they started happening in my life, I, st I wanted to see them moving. But how would a sculpture move? That was very difficult. So I became the medium and I wanted to perform. And then the performances came around. A lot of installation performances. These were all spontaneous performances. And since 2002, I have been performing. I have done various video performances, various uh, sites which were public, and I think that gave me a lot of a uh, lot of satisfaction as an artist because I felt that I've explored a different different dimension. Because for an artist, I think it is so important to keep experimenting and keep pushing his or herself completely uh, and experiment on himself also. Because whatever you are, at least I believe as an artist, there has to be no difference between me and my creation. What I'm doing has to be in complete accordance with me as a person of what I live as and what I paint. Because that is another dimension of myself and that was my language, which I wanted to share, which I want to communicate to people, which I thought the words would not reach so far because words they still for me you know did not touch that space that empty space which was which we all share and that void was filled by painting and i would like to share in the big they're going to be different uh, uh, you know mediums that i want to share with with you here I would today share with you painting as a medium and uh, I would like to explain how I go about it, how I conceive these works, how they come about as paintings and they reach you and they connect with you as a person. I have been working for the last 30 years as I mentioned earlier. The main concept of my works has always been creation. Now. How does this creation happen? How is this whole world moving? How is it constantly procreating, pro? It is recycling itself and positively recycling. What is it that is happening around us? And I found that the element which we had around, which the nature had given us was tree, which was a very, very relevant element, which is non-contradictory to all the faiths. It is, it is accepted easily. You can understand so easily about life, about 
the laws of karma, the basic principles of life, just by watching a tree. And I think most of the seers, most of the saints, they have achieved enlightenment. Each tree, each tree has the same, same message to give, the message to keep on and on. Each part of the tree is so, so venerable. It is so connected to the universe. It is so uh, giving. And here I wanted to show the male and the female aspect of the tree, how they both go on to create one definite universe through which different, these are the different roots. It's a banyan tree and the different roots which are falling from it, which are life-giving, which are again forming other trees, coming down to the roots. They give life to another form, another tree. The most important element, I thought, which nature has given us. And there are so many scriptural evidences that we have in which they have connected our lives to trees. And I will talk about these later. Just now I wanted to just explain that this is one of the other mediums that I work in. And this work of mine, this sculpture of mine is called the Tree of Life.